said. We will be covering how to operate a fire hydrant and supply your engine with a pony roll. After exiting the engine, remove the storage cap from the 5 inch intake. Get the pony roll from the engineer's compartment and roll it towards your hydrant. By giving the pony roll a little kick, it will deploy better. Attach the pony roll to the 5 inch intake. After this connection is made, you are ready to send water to your engine. Get the hydrant bag from the rear of the engine. and walk towards the hydrant. When you get to the hydrant, you must first remove the five inch cap and one of the two and a half inch caps. Ensure the final remaining cap is tight. Attach the hydrant wrench to the stem nut and turn counterclockwise to open the hydrant. Once opened, allow water to flow long enough to flush the hydrant. Once the hydrant is flushed, shut down the flow of water by turning the stem nut clockwise. Attach the 5 inch hose to the 5 inch outlet. and tighten this connection. Attach the butt valve to the two and a half inch outlet. If you are tagging a hydrant for a forward lay, you will only open the hydrant when instructed to do so by the pump operator. In this scenario, we are supplying our own engine with a pony roll so we can slowly open the hydrant when all connections are made. To open the hydrant, turn the hydrant wrench counterclockwise to the fully open position. A partially open valve means that the drain is also partially open so pressurized water can leak out and erode the soil around the base of the hydrant which can damage the hydrant.